Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. Today we are going to finish off a few quests and therefore we can move after that uh, into more unraveling of the story. I'll explain uh, the matters ahead at the end of the video I believe. Uh, but right now, uh, yeah we're at camp. We are going to go and see about the Steel Watch because we have to go that done. And I explained you the movie. I think I did explain in the setup episode, but uh, I, I understand if people ex um, skip that. So I'll explain it again. So we got the mission from the Iron Hand clan at the be very beginning of um, when we just arrived into Baldur's Gate, into the city, right? So. They explained to us that the Gondians are making the Steel Watch. They need to die. They, everything needs to go down. We need to destroy the Steel Watch and whatnot. So, lately we came to know that the Gondians are obviously being extortioned. They are building these uh, things against their will. Their families were being held captive. We just rescued them. Um, so we'll see if we can manage to finish off both quests. Uh, to complete both quests without messing up one or the other basically that would be it and we have a couple of things to say to to see in the city as well sorry i think i'm speaking too fast but yeah uh, i'm gonna bench a couple of characters a couple of guys here because for the upcoming mission what we need it's uh just damage, damage, and more damage. Halsey has something to say, I noticed uh, before I end the last episode, so let's see what this is about. When I first met you, saving yourself from seromorphosis was your greatest wish. And yet now, you've stepped closer to embracing it. I trust your leadership and respect your decisions, but I truly hope this is not something we come to regret. Oh, okay, so as you know, I never did a Dark Curse before this series, so this, all of these things are new. Uh... Yeah. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. Very well, let's see. Have you heard from Thaniel since we moved on? That's I interesting. Have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day... Ah, oh, that's nice. ...you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. That's nice. Very well, so that's it. Um... We're gonna bench Lazel and Will. Uh, don't worry though, Will, it's gonna be uh, around very soon. A welcome face. How can I help? Although we s we already saved Duke Ravenguard. Um, Camp. There's still Are things that certain? we need to do. We read the lane of answer uh, in the previous episode. Very well. And we still I'll need to do, uh, well, me. we'll see. We'll see what happens of that quest. Uh, with the whole dragon and all of that. It's pretty interesting. And uh, we're going to take Minsk. Another bone spawn buried by our hand. Bor should learn better than to send his offspring against us. They might as well be babes. Dropped bare bottom into their Rashiman winter. Minsk shall be your shadow, as Boo is his. Right, so first of all, for Minsk, something I never did while I had him and uh, that I needed. Life is simple, and so first of all, Minsk. I have 
Let me see. Let me see here. So I have the daggers, the blades of Orin. One of them uh, has an enough hand only thing that is pretty interesting. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you may uh, retaliate and gain true strike. And there is the other one that says when you make an attack with your hand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to damage of the uh, damage of the attack. Very well then. Very well. Uh, I forgot what else it was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I gotta give him my boots so he has a misty step. And I'm gonna... Oh, oh it equips itself. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use his. Just why not, you know? Uh, we're gonna bench Will. As I said, Will is going to be very important in uh, um, episodes to come. Let's talk. But in the meantime, I would like to take Karlak, quite frankly. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Sorry, mate. He's shaving. There's Yahira petting a rat again. That's so funny. It's like it's talking to her, to, to the rat. There's Volo. Uh, I think I, I talk about Jenna here. I'm not entirely sure what happens with Jenna. Oh, I really have to look it up. It's just that we have a lot of things to do. You might think uh, we're already, uh, we're finishing the map, but... Uh, Finishing up the series and whatnot, but guys, we got a lot, yes. a lot still to do. I mean, and that's really what's so great about the game, you know. So very well, let's go, let's get out, let's begin once and for all. Otherwise, it's gonna be a two-hour episode. And also, I I do have tadpoles. I'm gonna use them. Remember, we're just using them. Uh, now, there is not really a, reper a repercussion unless you want to become a mind player, which we are not gonna. But in the end, it's just to have more damage, um, more damage when it comes to the to the execution strike. Don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah. So. I'm not sure, honestly. It's been a couple of hundred years. <laughs> so you're missing out. Loved it as a kid. Oh, this water looks nasty as hell, though. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a port. Well, uh, it's not called Grey Harbor for nothing. Right. Good, good banter and all, but okay. Let me explain the thing. We gotta go to the Steelwatch Foundry. This time for real, we gotta kill them up. We gotta destroy it. We got the bomb as well. I think if we are able to use the bomb. The room powder bomb. We will be able to finish off the Iron Hand quest, but obviously trying to save the Gondians as well. That is the optimal plan. However, I was looking at this. Uh, no, this. Omelon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Omelon. If you didn't watch the setup episode or the or the episode after after that one, man, it's so many. I've been working like in three episodes a day, so I, I everything kind of gets mixed up. Um, it's the mind flayer that belong uh, that that is part of the society of brilliance that we met in the Underdark back in Act Two. So he's around here, I think. Is that him? Yeah. We saved him down in the in the Iron Throne. Uh, oh yeah, and regarding the Iron Throne, from now on, ever since the Iron Throne, we are already enemy of Gortash. There is no going back on that. So that's something else we should get going, like just uh, face him and whatnot. Oh yeah, I think this is it. Lodge of the Society of Brilliance. Precisely. Let's see. This is Dwergar. 
Durgars are usually bad, but supposedly the Society of Brilliance uh, doesn't really care for that. Although they are not very, you know, you know, not all of them are good people. If you guys remember at the beginning of Act 2, we killed a member of this society. The one that wanted us to bring her an egg, a, a, a Githyanki egg. Uh, oh, there it is. There he is. And this is the guy, the other the merchant that was with him in the Underdark. Very well. It is pleasurable to see you. Your this... intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravengard. That you also saved me was unexpected. This guy seems um, legitimately good or well-intended. I'm not entirely sure. We already know the Emperor's true colors. But yeah, you never... Ah, that's the thing, you never know with Mind Flayers. I too feel some warmth uh, at your uh, presence. I mean, well, let's not jump that far. Your inclination to generosity is an admirable quality, one I wish to reciprocate. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the Society's vaults. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. Oh. So, we are winning allies. Well, I don't know if allies, I don't know if they're gonna help us, but they're gonna give us stuff. Uh, uh, well, I mean, a potion and a few scrolls. Ah, I mean, I guess it's alright. What about you? Omeloum tells me I have you to thank for its safe return. We know the risks when we go out into the field, but to lose my friend in such a way would have been most disheartening. Yeah, like this guy, Omelon does have the, his friend and all that. His research wasn't planned, so it was like, you know, mildly harmless. He seems like a better um, humanoid. Uh, your research could be invaluable for my cause. If there's any conclusion to be drawn from this, I think it's that Omeluum and I are safest back in the Underdark. Our research there must continue. We may not be able to fight on the front lines as you do, but we may yet do some good for those who call it home. We'll depart when this absolute army is defeated. I understand you are involved in the matter. I hope our gifts will provide you with some meaningful assistance in fighting the evil Omeluum uncovered. Do let us know how you get on. Very well then. Uh, I just, before I started the episode, I just sold a lot of garbage, almost every, all the garbage I had. So, yeah, we're almost 20k. Uh, this guy doesn't really have much. I sold him this hammer, actually. And all of this stuff, also I sold him back in the Underdark, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure there was something that I didn't buy from him. And that I regretted at some point. I cannot remember. It must be in episode 20 something. <laughs> Probably. That I, I was saying. I should have bought this and I didn't. I don't even know what it is. Got no clue. 
in any case let's move on episode 20 we met these guys 20 something lads it's episode uh, 50 i think already coming this long the, the, uh, this long of a way with this series really makes me happy i uh, usually give up on on everything i want to do on youtube but in the end, this is sort of like my love letter. This lore series walkthrough, it's my love letter to this game. But let's put that aside. We need things to do. We are gonna go now to the Steel Watchers. Let me have a look at this. What is this? Ah, the, this is the, um, the entry. Go to the Steel Watch Foundry. Find the right place to use the room powder bomb. Yes, yes, but saving the the Gondians as well save the Gondians uh, we got the mission of rebels the clown as well uh, free the artist this is the uh, guys if you guys been following the series you might remember in act one I believe that um, sort of towards the end of act one we met the guild of thieves it's the nine fingers we killed them uh, recently but they had this artist who was an slave to them we bought him we give, gave him his freedom and he's in Baldur's Gate or he was going towards Baldur's Gate so maybe we gonna find them I don't know but yeah no it's very interesting nonetheless we're gonna go now towards the here At the ready. All swells that end. All swells that end, indeed. And we're gonna see if we can. Oh, this is all the things from the people we killed. Oh, there is a monster. Will he fight? Oh yeah. Okay. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Hmm. Well, as you know, we are already uh, enemies of Gortash, so anything that we do now doesn't really matter. I'm trying buying seven thousand, but no, we're just gonna get to fight him. There is no going back now. Do remember these guys explode after, I think, once reaching 30% of his HP. While we're fighting, I'm I'm gonna let you know a few things. Well, first of all, it's, um, it's three quests. I'm talking about this now, it's sort of a spoiler, because I, I assume people like, skip the fights or something. You know, so for those of you who don't, there's a, a little things. Um, there's three quests that we're gonna finish today. Hopefully, hopefully, one of them is kind of wacky and difficult. And I encountered myself uh, working on the side on the Divine Divinity series that is currently paused. It's uh, on pause, and I'm currently working back on it. It is going to be a 100% walkthrough. Mm. Karlak has more HP, but still... I don't know if I... Still hits a Starion, that's funny. Need to gun it, need to gun it, need to gun it. Uh, I'm gonna throw him over there. 2 HP, it's better than whatever much he takes with the explosion. And this guy also. Let's turn someone inside out. 
There you are. This final iron. I I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting how to remember. We are we need to go in and check on on Damon because as I explained to you, uh, one of the last interactions I had with him back in the last light in uh, that I only realized one was I was editing the video, not what I was playing, is that we could give him the masks of the Dark Justiciers. He would do something, so I, I I want to see if I can still do that. Oh, it's locked. Well, I sh I'm gonna show you the key. There you go. Locked. Very well. Let's see. There is more people now. I mean, there is another black gauntlet. The dead people seems to be the people we killed. Only, yeah. That's good. There is a Gondians that are that are alive. Let's get to it. What are you guys doing? You have beaten and tormented us to the brink of insanity. Rebelling. You cut out my eyes. But we will bow no more. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands. For Gond! Right. So this is something very important for these fights uh, in the Gondians um, quest. You need to kill the Black Gauntlets. There is always going to be one or two. You need to kill them. They have motivators, which is the devices that supposedly blow their heads off because of the necklace. And um, you have to interact with it to this... Um, Disable it. This is very important to remember because... Oh, actually, yeah, that makes damage to them. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the returning pike. I don't know if I have a better spear for that. Actually, I think I have a few. I have the sorrow. It's a glaive, extra reach. Uh, but it's slashing now. That doesn't do the the trick. Mm. Is the 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 one Dame Alien gave us? It's not all that bad. The returning pack it's it's gone way behind. I guess I'll give it a I'll give it a. I try, and if not, Astarion has a lot of arrows, good arrows, so we can work something up, uh, just so we, we stop hitting our allies, basically. Shall we cut and run? Right, the motivator, it's there. Magnificent. I think Minsk, it's gonna... It's gonna get here in time, right? You have a strength, don't you? Yeah. Doesn't Minsk have dexterity? Oh, well, that is true. Minsk was the one to um, to deactivate the, the the other one, the last fight that we had here. I cannot move. Very well. There we go, the Gondians. They all use blur. Whoa. No time for mercy. No time for mercy. Ooh. If I use this, I kill you, right? Very well. Let's have a look. Nothing much. Not even all that necessary to start looting them again. We don't even need the money anymore.
What happened to Obelia? Is she safe? She is. We spoke to her. <sighs> My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Right, I don't need you to have the room powder bomb. Won't that do the trick? I agree, let's finish this. So, I think the thing here is to tell him this. So we can use the room powder and complete the other quest as well. Your bomb will most certainly do the trick. Place it directly on the Neurositor, and then run like every fiend of the Nine Hells snaps at your heels. Very well. So now, uh, what happens is that we got that, that other door there. Well, I showed you the place uh, before. Where was it? Here? Right, yeah, we're going that way. You see it saving itself because uh, things have changed. Things have changed now. So, I, I explained to you last time we were here that if we go in in this place, uh, we have to fight everyone, even the Gondians uh, fight you. Basically, you have to, ki uh, to kill everyone, including the Gondians, because they are going to attack you. Now that we've done this, now that we saved our families before, now when we enter here, the Gondians will be on our side. And, you see, everything is green. And the thing is, it's just very complicated because, first of all, I'm gonna save. I want to save them all. Right, so we got this guy, this one over here. I think there's a steel watcher around. Uh, in any case, the problem is that we have two black gauntlets here. And these three guys. Those two black gauntlets will um, drop the motivators. And we have to dis uh, disable them. But I do want to save everyone. So... I don't really know what's my best move. I think I'm gonna... Hmm... You know... Aye, aye. Maybe I'm gonna start with them. But I'm not gonna throw this spear because that's gonna kill them. I still got the returning pike. I wanna know if the moon likely... No, it's, uh, the thing is, it's not a returning one, so... It's no good. I think I'm just gonna use the... I'll tell you what. We're gonna start using them coins. We got 12. I wanna use two today. Turn of Fury. And now I'm gonna use the returning pike. My little trick. Hmm. That's a good way to start. Oof, not that one. Muscle memory by now. Okay, that's not bad. I need to send someone else, maybe. I, I think I'm gonna send the Starion over there. This way. My Paladin in Minsk should maybe miss this step over here, over this area with these guys. I'm gonna send one each. don't have a dash, do I? I have to be able to disable this. I don't know if the Gondians do it themselves though. That's a lot of damage. Where did he go? Hmm. 
right. It went here. Hmm. Difficult, difficult. One HP. Uh. Right, working our way through. You can kill them. Okay, that's not bad. Please, one of you, do the. The motivator. Okay, if they don't do the motivator, I have to send my paladin there because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna explode. No, they don't. They don't interact with it. That guy needs to disengage and run. Very well, so... Mm. If I miss this step over there, I... I just... Ma if I fly as well, I think I... Exhaust my action. Yeah, this is gonna explode. I've got no idea lot. If I destroy this though No, I don't think that works. Okay, we'll see what happens. Then what I think I have to do is to send them both down, but don't kill them uh, just yet, right? Let me at it. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Bollocks. <laughs> this is not good, lads. Okay, so it gets me two turns when, uh, when they activate it. Uh, tell me that guy doesn't die. Okay. So I got the turns. We're we're all right. Well, who's this? Okay, that's a bad guy. All good. It's a critics uh, sort of build with the dexterity and orange plates. The offhand attack builds critic. Oh shit! I forgot. This is a ba uh, black gauntlet as well.
pull us that. Okay. I need to go and help that guy. He's gonna die. Ah, oh, he won't. No, no, Astarion. There we are. <laughs> Literally exhausted everything. But we can do it. I mean, the, the girl here teleported, so we, it's all against these guys. I can handle that. As long as they attack me and my guys instead of the others. Where are you going? Starion. She's almost dead. I'm immobile? Yeah, I'm immobile. Hmm. Okay, then. Styron is very weak. I shouldn't... I, I probably shouldn't use that. Although it's already equipped. It's not a, as much damage as... This one, you see, I'm going to start moving ahead. This feels good. And I'm going to send the Styron out as well. Although he doesn't have the Misty though. He has a disengage. No, but that's useless. I could try and move here, uh, although I'm gonna get hit. There you are. Another one. And last one. Mm. Yeah. I couldn't use the other action, either. Too bad. Okay, Minsk, as usual, saving the day. This is not going very well. There we are. The Gondians are fighting better than I am. You guys gotta be careful with that guy. Very well, now I can start. Oh, okay. 
Well, if that ain't funny, is it? I get, uh, yeah. Everyone but the steel watch. The Styron's gonna die. Dead. Very well. I kill you again, invisible. And I can supposedly move now because I'm immobile. Well, the Styron is dead. Yes. No one can move within this range. No. Those are two... Two of my guys that I'm losing. But this is almost over, so it's alright. Can still not move. Oh yeah, uh, Minsk is uh, dexterity. That's it. Don't waste all your movement there, though. Oh. We're almost there, lads. As far as I'm concerned, I have not lost one Gondian. This is the last thing. Think you can take me on. If I should have, if I would have revived a star, and I would have another, uh, another turn before the big guy. He's gonna come close and he's gonna kill probably everyone. I don't have movement, right? have any movement very well then let's see what happens oh. we lost another one I cannot I can never save them all I can never save them all I always lose one. Right. Just stand back now, let's get out of there. God. Okay, she didn't die. Oh, God's forsaken. We lost one man again. I guess you can never save everyone. <laughs> Very well, lads. So, that would be E for saving the Gondians. Supposedly, now we we can fulfill both quests. Let me make a few things here. 
Why don't I have that? Ah. Okay then. We're using another one. I did not sleep. I did not snore. It was a battle trance. Very well, lads. So, there is a few things in this place. Uh, well, besides all these things to sell. I am well aware that we should uh, look around the corpses. Okay, there is control key. Uh, that's necessary. Another key. Clotilda. So this is basically... Um... Oh. No, it isn't. Okay, so this is... Uh, this, this is a guy that was in too deep. When it comes to the whole service and stuff. I was gonna say, this is usually a note you find in the bad guys after you kill them. Showing you that they have families and loved ones just to humanize them. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Everyone has, a, well, almost everyone you can find a, one of those things. Submersive maintenance. This handwritten ledger appears to be a meticulous record of the steel foundry's production cycle. Uh, Okay. Save the condions. Let's have a look. We, we want to check on this. Uh, look to Sanner Tubin. Maybe we gotta go... Yeah. We gotta go out afterwards and... Oh, look at that. That's Bane. And check on the guy, the blind guy. The god of tyranny. Very well. Orders to the black gauntlets. A mind flare. Parasite. Chose an enemy. Oh, it's alive! Look at that. It's twitching and everything. Well, let's put him out of his misery. Ah, did I just heal somehow? Something I did that's wrong with the game. In any case, this is the door now that we would have opened. Uh, the Gondians could have died. If we would have unlocked it with lockpicks. All the gonians could have died with the with the necklace. We got the key now, <clears throat> and it's fairly interesting what you find here. A bunch of brains in jars. A parasite stirs within the pickled brain, twitching. As your mind connects, you feel yourself become strong, powerful, metal. You are a steel watcher, charging through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. Mm. So this is the things that uh, control the steel watchers. Disconnect from the watcher. Well, we don't need to do any of this because we are here to destroy the whole the whole thing. Although I don't, I don't know how this works out, though. Disrupt the parasite's connection to the steel watchers. I think we need to use the bomb, though. For a split second, you rest control. The steel watcher's legs lock. It crashes to the ground. The little girl disappears down an alley. Safe for now. Ah, right, so this is life. Life performance mind whirls as the brain swimming with parasitic juices connects with yours with a jerk your mind is transported you look down your body of pure steel and power whirring a dwarf cowers before you please mr steel watcher sir i'll, I'll never steal again i swear it on my mom's life just let me go well 
uh, same thing. We don't Focus need to do these the things. The We're just gonna Stop do it really them. quick. Uh, you can either destroy them or whatever. You know. But we are here to put an end to the whole operation. So get ready, lads. This is pretty farky. I don't know what I did to not have that, quite frankly. Because I, because I used all the psionic, maybe? Okay. Get ready, lads. Oh, look at that. It's a mother flipping boss. Still watch a titan. 22 strength, 20 constitution. He hits hard. So. This is the whole thing. If you are wondering what to do with the bomb, do not use it now, if, in case you're following this or something like that. You want to put it here. But we need to fight these guys first. I think what I'm going to do... The coin is still active. Yeah. Obviously, when I call the frenzy. What I'm going to do... Is I'm going to start clearing, cleaning them up. The other guys, I mean. And then proceed into that big guy. Mm. My bad. Easy. <laughs> right, not bad. We should start him. I don't even know. Th these guys have crossbows and that means they are dangerous. Ooh. Okay, so it's that, that's not bad, really. As long as I'm in the front, I am the thickest. Oh, that's weird. Right. What do I want to do with Minsk? Okay, let's see. It's critic and critic always with the with the daggers and and the decks. Oh well, unless it misses. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Probably should put. No, no, no. Really, we should clean them up because otherwise it's gonna be way worse. They are immune to divine, right? Lightning. Right. Yeah, that's better. That attack was a... Oh, it's gonna do it anyway. Oh, no, it wasn't. And that was a rain of fire that goes around. Good thing I countered that. There's that, he's gonna explode, I'm gonna... Uh, this guy, we cannot hit him. We cannot make any damage to him. Um, he's got, as you can see, 75 of a shield. Meaning we cannot make any damage to him. We gotta take the shield down before... Before we can make any damage. Very well. Mm 
right now it allows me to move out that's good I cannot move that much though We're doing good. We're doing really good. It's all good. I'm gonna start taking some of that. <laughs> well, or I am not. Okay, let's see. No, not really. I'm not gonna waste that. We need to take the, chi uh, the shield off first. What a chaos, what a chaos we got going on here. I am really hurt. But I'm gonna have to work it out like that way. Lads, it's just, uh, just so you know, I want to point it out. It's because we've been playing in such a way that it's slow and, and, and it's got the pace and the bills and the money and everything in the level. This thing, when you get here on your first time, it's freaking difficult. I know it doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Then again, it's because we've been doing everything right. Uh, and not even that, like I still have a lot of things that I haven't got. The builds are not even done properly. Just keep that in mind. It's not it's not that these things are easy, it's just that we just played a uh, we just been playing it well. Like you see with the daggers and the critics and everything. Look at that. Like Miss can end him on his own. Look at that. This is not an easy thing. An easy fight. But there we go. It's the way of the hero. A drow recruit brought this curious object in, form of, uh, in, uh, in from the underdog. I have no idea what it signifies, but it's clearly the kind of clockwork jiggery pokery you enjoy. So I send it to you with my Compliments, Catholic. Mm. So much infernal light on the round. Oh, look at that. Contour male. 512. It's got the haste on it. Um, let's see. It's, it's radiance, mostly. Possibly inflict uh, guiding bolts upon the target. Ah, okay. In uh, that's interesting. I don't know if it's any good. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Nonetheless, lads. It's time to use the bomb. Do I brought it up? Do I have it around? Yeah, it's that one, right? Rune powder bomb. Rossiter awaits your input. Intelligence, press the button, focus on the center of the neurositor, the perfect place for the rune powder bomb. Let's go. This will destroy the foundry, wiping it from the face of the forgotten realms. Carefully place the bomb. Huh? Ooh. Got it, mate. Fucking run.
down it goes all before them right so we saved the conians and we did the mission on the of the iron hand clan so i wonder how this is going to pan out there they that are was a hell of a show my friend watchers collapse in the street as we speak and the foundry the scent of rune powder drifts through the city like a warm embrace. I see my bond did the trick, but it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. This is not on them. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Uh, what about Gortash if he forces you to build love? He still works one more, once more. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's over, lads. Wait, what? Yeah, it's over. Please. <laughs> If a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand gnomes had corrupted you, Walbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Walbrin. But even I am having my doubts. Okay. Hey. Perhaps the Iron Hand Gnomes need a new leader. Oh, difficult. Oh, so Barkus Root. Leader of the Gondians. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I say... I say you're right. They deserve a leader who will encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. I can't save you from yourself, Wolbrin. It hurts terribly. Oh. But I can't. Toss your values in the bin, if you want. But don't throw out the Iron Hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands. Kill this man. What? How dare you? Cowards! The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes. And look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. Oh, okay, I get it. Is it is with a heavy heart that I remove Walbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Walbrin. I expect Holy shit. treachery from all sides. But you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone when we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise! Holy shit! Well, if that ain't intense... Lads, as promised, we finish three quests today uh, to, to exterminate the Steel Watch Foundry, to save the Gondians, although we lost the man in the battle and to, ex to use the, the room powder bomb to explode this, uh, everything basically 
three missions. Now we have to see what to do with Gortash. These two are here. Let's see what this is about. An alliance with the Iron Hands. I didn't think it possible. The Gondians are in your debt, my friend. We, call we unite them clans. I swear it. Very well. So this did go as I wanted it to go. We unite them both clans. This, that is good. Well, here we are. A most unexpected outcome. I am many things. A leader is not one of them. But no time like the present to learn. And I can't do any worse than Walbring. Sorry as I am to say it. I don't know when he became so angry. So violent. But I'm glad to say I see the truth of it now. At last. Thank you for your encouragement. I needed it. And have done since the day we met. I may have lost Walbrin, but I found a far preferable ally. Friend, even. Now, uh, myself and the Iron Hand Gnomes have much to disentangle. But when you're ready to face what's waiting for you, believe me, we will be at your side. <coughs> uh, um, shoo then, for now, my friend. Oh, well, very well then. Let's so it comes to an end. Look at that. All the steel watches uh, stopped functioning and people are like coming along to see what's going on. That's, that, that's really cool. Look, all of them stopped working. So, Gortash. Well, what can I say, lads? He's gonna be pissed. It's gonna be pissed. And there is no going back now. We got to go. Actually, we, we should probably go right away. Go and face him, that is. Mm, yeah, there is nothing else to, to do it, really. We are gonna have to go and, and face him, smite him down. We got two nether stones, Ketherix and Orin. Yeah, there it is. We need Gortash Netherstone. We need to get going to that as well. There is a few things we need to start giving some closure, lads. There is a Shadowheart story that is very close to Unravel. There is Karlax story uh, that is very close to Unravel as well. We got to do the the alien, the, the, the thing with alien, facing that, that wizard with alien. We have to, for some reason, I still stubborn to follow along the quest of the clown. I don't know why. Which is also, it's probably like, a, it's probably nothing. You just uh, give it to the woman in the circus and it becomes a zombie or something. But, just, just stay tuned lads, stay tuned because a lot of closure. I don't know if got a closure. Yeah, but a lot of. I love that it's going to come and it's going to be a handful of intense episodes so with that being said i really hope you enjoy i'll see you in the next video thank you so much take care